So the Gleena described this as a rare feat. I'm joined by the young woman who attained her private pilot's license at just 22 years old and she's ready to take to the skies. Well, I suspect that the fact that she got the pilot license, she'll probably take to the skies already. Hassana Al Saba joins me now to tell us about this childhood dream that has now come true. Morning, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning, thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. <laughs> Where did this come from, wanting to be a pilot? All right, so it's from when I was really young, like so maybe three or four, I used to go on trips to Trinidad to visit my family and I was so excited about going on an airplane. It just fascinated me and I just love the feeling of when you know, it took off, when the airplane takes off. That was, yeah, that was breathtaking for me and ever since then I was like, yeah, I want to fly. I don't know how many female pilots there are, there are across the world. I remember Air Jamaica had one, and the reason I remembered because I was on that flight and she invited me in the cockpit and I says, ooh, it was, it was nice. I'm scared of flying, by the way, so maybe you can, you can help me out there. So you've got your private um, pilot's license. What you had to do to get that? How many hours you had to be flying and um, solo flights and stuff? Right, yeah, so I had to do minimum 45 flight training hours and of those hours I had to do around 12 to 13 solo time. So that includes me in being the sole occupants of the aircraft. Like it's me alone, just me and my thoughts, just up there flying. The first time you did that, you never kind of scared? I was a bit, I was a bit scared because you know your instructor is not there with you. Uh, as a safety net, but they train you really well and they train you to manage emergencies as well so that if you're on your own, you can handle it. So did the instructor, could he speak to you from, from the ground? No, or? he couldn't. It was just no? me. So when you took off that start? It was just me. Me up there alone. How was your takeoff and landing that first one? The landing what, did bump here, it was smooth. You know, I have to be honest, okay, the takeoffs were fine, but the landings for the solos, they weren't that good. And I'm okay with that because I have my entire career to work on that as well. But then I did other solo flights to like, um, to a fly with Vernon Field, went to Ian Fleming, um, Montego Bay, Ken Jones, and so I basically fly all over. How does that feel? You're up there, you're looking down, and you see me on the road. <laughs> how, how does that feel? <laughs> I've, I feel really good. Like whenever I'm flying, whenever I'm up, 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 up there, I, I, feel, I feel really good. I feel a euphoria feel, yeah. feeling, really. This morning when I was talking about you coming on the show, I said you probably just want to be known as a pilot and not every time they say a Muslim pilot. Mm. Um, yeah or no? Yeah, that's yeah, true. You just want to be known as a pilot. Well, that's true. Well, I mean... But you are a Muslim. That's fact, yes, that's fact. That's a fact? Yes. And you were telling me that in training, Someone actually said they wouldn't fly with you because you're Muslim. Yeah, that was, yeah. So, but I mean, they can say that, but at the same, same, same time, I am just as competent as any other pilot out there. You know, just because I dress differently and I have different beliefs, that doesn't make me a less competent pilot than anyone else. But do you know that that will happen? That you, someone might come on an air, airplane and say a Muslim pilot and say, no, 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 no. I don't doubt that. I mean, um, for sure, I know that there will be stigma against me, but that's not stopping me from continuing fulfilling my dream. You want to be a commercial pilot? That's correct. How many more flights or how many more flight time? Is that all it said? Yeah, so to get up to airlines, you have to have minimum 1,500 hours Yeah, to reach there. So there, that includes a lot of different um, flights in different aircraft and in different rules, like say um, instruments only in the night and stuff. So there are amounts of licenses and hours and ratings that you need to do and get in order to qualify for it. How, how, how much longer you think that will take you? Well, let's call it five years. Five years? Is there anything in the Muslim religion that would stop you from being a female pilot? Not at, all. at all. Not at all. Wow, do you know that there are other female Muslim pilots yes. across the world? Yes, there Many? are. Many? There are quite a few, yeah, a few, yeah. Do you think if you left our shores, it would be easier for you to, to do what you want to do or no? Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm kind of just, I want to continue, I want to stay here because, you know, the Aeronautical School of the West Indies is approved straight up to instructor. So I'd, I'd like to stay here and do all of my ratings and licenses up, up until then. But you know, wherever the road takes me, I, I will go. Um, you have a degree in computer science. Oh, yes. Does that help as a pilot? Um, in the industry, yeah. Um, in what way? So it helps because sometimes 
I'm not saying that it's a, it's a requirement to have a degree to, to be an airline pilot, but they like to see it. Okay. It's a nice little thing on your re resume. Yeah. Um, you have a plan B? If this doesn't work out for you, what would you do? <laughs> well, my plan B would be to use a computer science de degree as well. Yeah. So, and also use be my degree to help finance um, to go through with my train. train How train. difficult is that, the, the financing of it? Because I suspect it's a pretty penny. Oh man, let me tell you, it, yeah, it's, it's a lot. But, but I just recently got a job in fintech. So, so far it's been okay, but initially it was a bit rough because while I was going to school, while I was going to U university, I was working like a full-time job and a couple of part-time jobs just trying to to keep the dream alive and to put it towards the flight hours. And I asked my friends and family to support as well. And I wrote to so many com companies as well. And I guess they didn't see the dream at the time. And literally all of them told me no. But I mean, that didn't stop me. Yeah. I knew that I'm still going to be, be a pilot. Fantastic. You already said it's going to take you a little while to be a commercial pilot. But can you fly that kind of plane now? Um, I can only fly single engine. No, no, not, but not with your license. I'm just asking if you oh. think you could handle it. I know what your, your, your license yeah. would, would allow you to fly. But if you get a big plane now, you can take off and land. I mean, I could try a thing. No, you can't try a thing. I'm keeping on the plane. I want to no, fly well, oh, well, no, 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 no. We'll do it without people. Okay, first, what do you think you could do? Just to get the feel how, of it. How different is it like driving a small car as opposed to an SUV? Or how different would it be? I think it, it will kind of be the same because the fundamentals would you know, be the same because would, would that's what the private teaches you. So it's kind of just advanced the more higher that you get and the bigger air airplanes that you fly is just more systems building on the fundamentals. But it would be the same way to take off and... The, yeah, pretty much. Pr the principles are the same. Tell them you're ready. <laughs> Tell them you're ready now. Tell them you're ready. Yes. Great to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I pray that it works for you. Um, I'm, I'm certain it will. Thank you so I'm much. I'm certain it will. Appreciate that. Um, and just look after yourself. Maybe when you become a pilot, then can I send for me an Alpha. Yeah, man. Then you Road. After me. Yeah, man. A <laughs> private pilot, Asana Al Saba. We've got an hour of smile left. And when we return from Studio B, we discuss work life integration versus work life balance. So come, stay with us, please.